Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big BB, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about a brand that I became familiar with back in 2020. From my understanding, this is when they were putting it together, but the brand is none other than Orientica. Now, if you are not familiar, they are like this subset of our hair mind. So today we're gonna dive into two of their collections, talk about five of their fragrances, and let you know what I think. So as I mentioned, I began to hear about this brand back in 2020 by one of the distributors of this fragrance brand and began to tell me about what they were looking to accomplish, achieve, etc. And fast forward to 2022, I got these fragrances in my collection back in March. So I figured I had enough time to explore these fragrances, tell you what I think about them and give you a honest real world opinion. Now, if you happen to enjoy any of these fragrances that we're talking about today, then holla at my people over at Sniff Perfumes down in Coral Springs. And obviously, you can order this online and I'll leave their details down below. When I say Coral Springs, that is Coral Springs, Florida. I'm acting like you're in my head. So we'll go ahead and hop into it. But before we do, I just kind of want to give you a brief insight to what we can expect here. Now, as you know, with our hair mind fragrances, they really are setting out to recreate uh, luxury fragrances and bring them to you at a more affordable price point. And today we're gonna talk about two of the fragrances from the Orientica lineup, at least two of the uh, collections here. So you have the luxury collection and we'll talk about three fragrances that look like this and their bottles are a lot more detailed than what you would see here with the Le Motif fragrance collection here. But with that, I also believe there are two very distinct differences between these two collections. Now there are also some body sprays that go along with these as well and we'll talk about some of those in another video. Today I just want to get you ramped up on what to expect with these fragrances if you are looking to give them a try. So as I mentioned there are two distinct differences that I was able to come across between these two collections and one the luxury collection thus far seems to be centered around more of those oriented fragrances right those fragrances are a bit darker than what we expect at least from the fragrances that I have that I have in the La Motif collection so with that we have inside of the luxury collection we have Royal Amber, Amber Rouge, and Oud Saffron so you can kind of get uh, what to expect by the names there and as we would expect with our hair mind fragrances, these fragrances, again, are really set out to uh, recreate and make improvements upon some of the fragrances out there that we have grown to love within the niche world or within the luxury designer fragrance collection. Now, looking at the collective of these fragrances, you can tell that they look pretty similar in nature in terms of the overall design. They have that same ornate type of feel, but the colors are different. We have a rose gold, a call this one a silver white gold or platinum and then you also have your traditional gold when we have the overall color profile here now uh, we'll start off with royal amber here and this fragrance again feels within that oriental fragrance lineup and this one to me is one of the better between the three that i have within the collection not stating that any of them are bad but this one did stand out to me a little bit more so before i tell you a little bit more about this fragrance let me give you some kind of overarching viewpoints of what you can expect within uh, the fragrances that I have before me today. So longevity on these fragrances, these are great in terms of longevity. You're getting 10 plus hours easily, especially when you are spraying this one on clothes. Now what I'll tell you, if you are newer to the fragrance world, if you're like, yeah, um, you don't fully understand what some of these fragrances are about when I say what they are setting out to recreate, then you may want to go with the other collection as they are a little less dark a little less spicy and moody than the fragrances that we're talking about within this luxury collection now royal amber sets out to recreate a jersey fragrance which is yerba pura i believe that's what it's called and i'll get a little bit more into that one amber rouge sets out to recreate or compete with the um, baccarat rouge 540 the edp version and finally we have the oud saffron which sets out to do the same thing as the others but this one is more set around long comes supreme bouquet so that's what we have here but let me go ahead and dive into this one a little bit more now on first spray 
Royal Amber is just a amazing scent and as it should be as the other is dope in itself. Now again longevity is still the same, projection is going to be great on this fragrance as well and this one is a crowd pleaser in my humble opinion in terms of that compliment factor is going to roll in. Now if you again aren't familiar with the fragrances that we mentioned, these are a little bit more mature in terms of what their note breakdowns uh, tend to be if you are like early high school, this may not be for you unless you prefer something a little bit more sophisticated and refined in terms of its approach. Now, for me, these fragrances, because of what they are, these are better suited for maybe fall and winter, nights out in some of some type of controlled environment, but not something that I will wear on a night out on South Beach, right? These are a little too dark, a little too heavy, a little too spicy for that type of situation. Now, as I mentioned, the Orientica fragrance collection is a subset of our Hermine. And that made me think, well, is it the same thing repackaged, okay? And I began to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Royal Amber and this fragrance from Al Hermine, which is Amber Oud, the Gold Edition. Now, the Gold Edition is really set out to recreate the same fragrance, okay? So we have the same parent company, so to speak, Al Hermine, and, and then also fragrances within each mimicking the same fragrance house and the same fragrance specifically. So um, what do I get between the two of these fragrances? Because you may be wanting to know if you are into those Middle Eastern fragrances or just the cone fragrances in general, because they save you a little bit of coin, is it worth picking up both of these? Now, in my side-by-side -side comparison, these fragrances were eerily similar to each other, which they should be because, well, they're mimicking the same scent. And for me, when it comes down to the scent, it was inconclusive. I was like, is it the same, yes or no? So what I did was I took it to the missus and had her smell them, not knowing what was going on. She thought it was a trick question. So. Here's what it boils down to in my humble opinion and also my wife's opinion. Determining which one you're gonna purchase, you may decide on the bottle. All right, my wife loves the presentation on, on these fragrances here. And me, I am not as big of a fan of the presentation for this lineup. So I think that's really where you have to decide where you fall. In terms of the overall scent profile and composition of this fragrance and the other fragrances within this collection that I have here, magnificent, right? They've done a fantastic job on this, in fact, the missus walked in as I was recording this and she said this room smells amazing and that's because I've been spraying this fragrance and the others on strips just reminding myself what they are all about. Now, as we hop into the secondary collection here, this one is the La Motif collection and again, these fragrances are really set out to be recreation of other fragrances that are out there. Now we have the Imperial Gold and then we also have Wild Neroli. And it may, you may understand what these fragrances are all about. Now, Imperial Gold, this one here is made to be that of, well, Creed's uh, Millicene Imperial. And then we have Wild Neroli, which when we talk about Neroli within a lot of these recreation fragrances, they tend to go uh, with Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. And that's what you get with these fragrances. In terms of being spot on, yes. <laughs> Now these things here are really, really, really there. Okay, I have to spray this again. Look at that distribution here. Wow, wow. All right, that distribution is crazy. It smells, it smells great. Now fragrance is rich, right? It, it does have great performance. It projects, and when we look at what some people complain about in terms of Millicent Imperial, are those two things: projection and performance. And with this, I would say that, that the projection and performance here is amped up more so than what you would get in a uh, Millicent Imperial. So if you're okay with you know having a recreation of clone, um, this is the fragrance that I would tell you, get your nose on, all right, give it a buy, you won't be disappointed in terms of what the projection and performance of this fragrance is. Now with Wild Neroli here, I am again not the biggest fan of um, Neroli fragrances. But when I look at Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, it's not one that 
I really was a huge fan of. But when we look back to that Al Hermine setup, there was that Neroli canvas from their portfolio collection. And while Neroli here is eerily similar, but I have to say this, and I have to say this with um, all truth, okay? So for me, I preferred the uh, the original um, Neroli canvas to this set, all right? And when I was talking to the distributor, he was like, yo, I think you might need to try it again because I think that this one is better. But to me, I prefer the Neroli canvas. So be sure to check those out. And again, it's, it was inconclusive to me in terms of the first batch of fragrances, right? When we looked at Amber Oud Gold Edition and Royal Amber, um, if they were the same, just repackaged. But when I think of these other fragrances, I prefer the the, the Neroli canvas, all right? So, so that's what we have there. In terms of longevity and performance, you will not be disappointed by either of these collections, right? And then they're also easier on the pockets, so you may be able to get more for your buck versus just purchasing one of those fragrances that are there. I'm not here to sway you either way on it, just giving you my overall opinion. Now again, if you want to try these fragrances out, be sure to check out sniffperfumes.com. I'll leave them linked and listed down below, or you can visit them down in Coral Springs, Florida. We can come back with the body sprays. If you want to know more about that, please let me know. Comment that down below. And again, let me know uh, which one of these fragrances do you feel would be your favorite from the collection. That's all I have for you as always. I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.